Hey, this is Colt here from Necrotics Gaming. I am bringing you my Art of War Prismatic Titan. It is a super fun Titan build to use. Yes, you can spam it on Consecration and Transcendence. Is that how I like to play? No, not really, but it's there if you want to use it. And having the Diamond Lancers on, on your powered melees um, makes this build really nice. And it also, you can get up close and personal and you have the maneuverability with the thruster I'm using, and it is a super fun build to use. Since the final shapes come out, I haven't really enjoyed Titans because I've just found they're a little bit weaker than previous seasons, but this build and another build that I have that I'll be bringing out next, and we'll talk about that later, is a real game changer for me. Since the bunk hammers went away, this thing has been an absolute godsend for me. So you can see here that we're using the Strand Super. I'm going to be using the Frenzy Blade to get three of those with this. So I get three Consecrations. Getting the Diamond Lances on those powered melees. And the Thruster works well with my Heart of Innermost Light. My Heart of Innermost Light will pop up my least charged up ability on top of my armor mods that I'm using the utility kickstart for, we get things coming around quick. And especially when we hit transcend, everything comes back super quick. And also having the Kvostov in, picking up those orbs of power, plus having that fast fire rate, and the way I've got the artifact mod set up, and the way I've got the fragments set up, will bring me back to transcendence really, really quick. And this build does it slaps and you can just handle ads all day, handle champions all day, and it is a real confidence of a build. So you can see the Diamond Lance here, powered melees. Um, it's an easy pop-off, and like I said, it's kind of a freebie, um, and that's what we want from this, something a little bit extra, especially when you're handling those groups of ads. Powered melees, you can that, get that back to your heart of in the most light. It's going to be proccing all your abilities to come back, and working with that, it's going to be your kvost off. Um, so everything's going to be working together to bring back your abilities. So with the Transcendence, we're going to be ripping into Transcendence super quick. Um, because using one of the fragments that we have, we're going to be bringing the Transcendence back even quicker. Plus with the Electrified Snare, you're going to be tying up champions and you're going to be jolting champions. So Consecration, no real explanation here other than a blam. So Facet of Grace, your Kinetic Weapon will build transcendence faster you can see the boss stuff coming in there <laughs> then purpose picking up orbs of power will grant you wave of mail resilience always a plus then awakening a rapid a light or dark weapon kills generates elemental pickups then you're going to be looking at protection while you're surrounded you are going to be resilient and tr stronger when you're transcendence when you're transcendent it's badass facet of ruin Increasing damage for the burst of stasis and ignitions are going to go pop faster at dawn. Powered melee makes you radiant, and your final blows will make your fire team radiant too. So, this is where we're bringing in the support side of things, plus being a solo monster. So, your artifact mods use these ones set up right here. These are the ones that are going to empower your build and they're going to be knocking out content for you. So obviously your armor mods are right here, use those, they are fantastic. So when we talk about weapons on this build, we're using the Kvostov, um, we're using that for a reason, we've got the shoot to loot on it. Fast firing, plus bringing back your transcendence. The one weapon I really love is the Azuli's Bane. Um, it is like using a Sunshot. Mine's the Harrowed, um, but you can use any number of weapons. It really is your choice, but I recommend something that ignites and does crowd damage and you can see what this build does now i mean it's it's a no-brainer it is in it spams it crushes it's powerful and like i said that's just using the super so you've got your super going you've got your diamond lances everywhere and you start popping out your consecration you are going to be having a whale of a time um, like I said earlier, I've just found that Titans have been pretty weak, um, unless you're going to be running a behemoth, which is no fun for anyone's fire team. 
Um, running solo with it, absolutely fine. But like I said, running it with a fire team and using a behemoth titan is not so fun. I mean, I've tried it. Every time I said I'm going to be more considerate, it doesn't work out that way. You cover everything with ice and you pretty much ruin everyone else's gameplay. That's why I love to run it solo. So the core of the titan build since D1 um, is what another thing I wanted to get back to in a build. Um, you see those images of Zavala or footage of Zavala. He's up there up front. Slam, he's the first in the crowd to be in the action. And that is a physical thing with the Titan. He should be a frontline fighter, not sitting in the back, which is what I found that I've been doing recently. So with this, the core. Can anyone guess what the core of a Titan setup is? Well, it is pure and it is simple. A Titan at heart has one thing in mind. And that is to go in, wade in, and start punching. The only other one that can stand up to a Titan for his punch really is the Hunter using Assassin's Cowl as Handshake. And they do pretty much stand up to us with that. But primarily the Titan is the puncher. That is what I wanted to get through with this build. I wanted to bring back that original fun that you used to have on Titans with it. Like I said, with everything that we've got, especially with the Diamond Lancers, you can go running in with a Diamond Lance, Lance, you're getting shatter, shatter damage, then you're going with your Consecration, then you're popping off a Frenzy Blade, you know, it's non-stop. And um, using the Kvostov, bringing back your abilities, hitting that thruster every time you're running low, helps to pop your grenade and your melee energy back up. That is what we want from this build. And like I said, any content this build's good for, Anything with champions, this build will eat alive, especially combined with a really good fire team. You're going to be slamming through content, having yourselves a lot of fun, and that's what Destiny is about. Don't forget that it's about having fun. You can see here the way I just slowly meander about taking out these two. Um, that's what this Titan build's about. It's about doing things with these. It's not about that struggle, and it's definitely not about failure. Okay, so final word and what's coming soon um i've got a buyant leap titan video going to be coming out next it's as potent as this one if not slightly more on the ag clear side i think you're going to really enjoy it it is designed to take on champions like no other so i hope you stick around give me a like and subscribe join the channel because my videos are going to be stepping up and hitting the mark every time so the final word is remember destiny is a game it's a game that we love it's a game we share with other guardians so let's just be kind to each other out there let's support each other and let's do what guardians should be doing getting other people through content and enjoying ourselves remember just a game in touch grass i've got a full-time job and yet i can still crush our destiny okay guardians remember to subscribe and i will see you in the next video